Hi, thank you very much for turning back in. My name is Fonny. In my channel, I talk about my houseplant and my Hoyas. Today is part two of the collaboration video that I have done with Ivy. Last episode, I show you some really interesting Hoyas that I've never seen before in real life. And obviously I haven't really seen in pictures as well. So this Part two is going to be the Lacunosa Vivarity collection that Ivy have. I'm really interested to see all of the colorful leaves and also all of the different splashes and silvery kind of texture of the Hoyas, particularly on Lacunosa. So without further ado, I'm going to show you right now. Maybe we can look in your Lacunosa collection, because I know you have so much that I have never heard of. I think it will be really interesting to see. Sure, this is the part, of, especially I dedicate this part, this level shelf for all my Lacuno. So actually I have it in other places as well, but this is the most that I have it here. Mm. Ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, this is the peltada I was talking about. Oh, that so cute. They're not in moss bowl, but I, this one, I made, no, I didn't make it. I just cut off some, you know, wood, mm. wood stem like that, and then just propagate it. This <laughs> is super, super cute. Really nice setup. And I especially like the rabbit. Rabbit, right? Yeah. I got a lot of compliments with this too, guys. There are the two rabbits there. Yeah, it's really, really nice. So let's start with the uh, first Lacunosa. This one is, uh, I have to take a look at the name. So this will be Lacunosa SR 2010-055. Mm. Okay, all Lacunosa, they said there's, they're all, they look all the same, but if you go into detail of mm -hmm. it, you know, there's some detail, details about it. Especially mm. this is one, the long leaf shape and also some abs. Yeah, it's different. Oh, it abs here. <laughs> also, it's darker-ish green. Darker in color, right. Mm. And all those Lacunosa that, you know, going on in the market right now, selling on a market. So they have mm -hmm. all the names. It's not, you know, it's not identified yet, but, mm -hmm. you know, they, they name it as what they see you know what even i got it like in a small plant mm. but maybe my condition or whatever so that i'm giving them mm. so it changed okay so uh let's say what is it like the mint coin mm -hmm. the silver mint coin it came like very round and mm. then like small and it see oh the condition it's much like, bigger this dried is larger. Mm. This size. <laughs> so I have shown a uh, post, you know, uh, from my Instagram, and then a quarter. It's bigger than a quarter here. A quarter coin. Mm. Yeah. I can have that on the side in the video because I know which uh, post you're talking about. That is such a nice <laughs> picture. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. And then this one. They call it like Lacunosa, like, you know, silver orange skin. I was like, what? The orange skin? <laughs> and then I have to have it, right? Because of the name. Yeah. When you get closer, so, you know, the leaf shape is, it's really like different from the, the other silver leaf. It's like crinkle, shrinkle like this. Is that how it looks know, like? The orange, yes. It's like the orange peel. It's okay. like there is a <laughs> that's why the fire, I don't, that's why they name it like orange skin. Yeah. It's just the, the appearance of the leaves of like that, just like, like, for me, it looks dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one thing, but you know, I have to have it. Yeah. It just because, <laughs> and it's Lacanosa. And what more here? Oh, this is Mr. Ten. I think you have this one, right? No, uh, I don't. Yeah. I heard about this a lot. It's super elongated. Yeah, it's similar, but there's... This one is thicker leaves than the uh, SR. Oh. Side by side. Okay, I see. Yes. 
the the S R is like uh, thinner. I think it's greener, right? Yes. This one. When I got this from my friend, uh, it's more uh lime in color、oh. because she doesn't stress it. But for me, no.、Nope. Yeah, you like the original coloration. <laughs> it looks more healthy, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> And then this is the ro-、uh, royal flush.、Mm. They have really beautiful new growth,、um, new leaf coloration. This. And this you call it like Louisa silver,、mm. right? So the leaf shape is elongated, a little bit absent there, and then, but there's like a spotted like green. Oh, you have this one yet? No,、yeah. but is th- I thought this one is the same as the silver one. Is it different? No, honey, that the silver long leaf is more minty in color. Oh, so it's.、Uh, One, I can grab this one. Oh, you're、uh, right. It's smoother. It seems like it's smoother. Yeah, it doesn't have those spotted, like green spot. Oh, and the foot silver has the green spot. Oh, you're right. Not like、uh, mint in color. You can see from this one, yeah, better view. That is really pretty as well. But do you find all of the、uh, silver are easy to reserve, or you need to kind of have more light so then they could be silver, or it doesn't really matter? In my opinion, because these all of these are in my west facing window,、mm. so they're having like、uh, like four, let's say three to four hours, like very strong light. Okay. Especially in summer. But in winter,、uh, not that strong. But it's still, like getting like you know afternoon light.、Uh, mm. I'm not sure about that because I'm having some of my you know lacunosa silver in my、uh, other cabinet as well, which they are not having that that strong strong light. But they、mm. still maintain their minty color. I mean,、okay. for the the, the lacunosa that has the mint color, they、oh, still、okay. maintain. Well, that's good. That doesn't. That means you don't have to worry about it reverts. Yeah, I don't because this I have this for like over a year already.、Hmm. Yeah, they didn't show any like revert. Okay, for the mint coin, I got one strand, one vine that I keep cutting it.、Hmm. Like pushing one, like it's like totally green. It's not like you know regular mint coin.、Hmm. Only one strand in this in this plant that that has pushing out that I keep cutting it like you know and that keep reverting to green green color like regular lacunosa type color. Okay. Two.、Uh, let's say okay for this one the long leaf、uh, silver it it never push out any like、uh, reverted cross my finger <laughs> it never <laughs> push out any <laughs> any like reverted green color leaf. Yeah. This one, yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Did it? Not, not either. Yeah, for this two, never reverted for me. That's good. That's really good. So when if anybody wants to buy like silver color leaves of lacunosa, those two that you showed there, it's it's almost like a full proof、uh, specimen that it won't really change backwards and revert.、Yeah. Mm. But depend. It always depend. You know, you you never you know guarantee any like <laughs> luck. <laughs> Because it that sometimes oh if my my you know one of my buyer oh can you guarantee the variegation that it will stay like this?、Uh-huh. I said、mm. okay no I cannot you know because it's all in every like you know your condition environment the light you give like it's it's everything.、Mm. Yeah.、Um, And. Yeah. <laughs> Disclaimer, okay. <laughs> one, the langkawi that I told you that I got from Emily,、mm-hmm. it's a little one. And then this is what is it? The、uh, lacunosa. They call it like abs zero one. But I think there's a real、uh, accession number that is that、uh, one of my friend tracked,、mm. and then it's a nursery in Indonesia. And then the accession number is. Maybe it's FN eleven or FN dash thirteen. So I, yeah, I have to you know go back to the the message. Yes. Oh, to her. This looks very silver as well. Yes, it's silver, and then the 
you can see and silver it's thick. and then there's like apps like mm. you know <laughs> yeah small leaves yes yeah and this one is a lacunosa asami wow it's a huge yeah. one the, the, this okay there is like clone one and clone two hmm. clone two has more like uh established or like not established how do you call that uh prominent variegation mm. uh-huh. this is clone, clone one clone, Oh no, this is clone 2. I'll, okay. I'll show li- later on the clone 1. This is the clone 1 that I'm talking about. So after showing you from the video, that's the clone 2. It's more stable uh, variegation. But clone 1, it depends. Sometimes it pushes, uh, you know, good, pretty variegation like this. But most of the leaves will be like more green. So the the variegation itself is not that um, stable so this is the clone one but for me i think it's pretty in her own way and that the original leaves are super cute oh it's wow small. it's small mm. you know small thick leaves but mm. Okay, what I've heard from, you know, other collectors, they said because of the light that I'm giving them as well, mm. it's not that strong. So that makes, you know, the plant say, so, oh, okay, you're not giving, I don't need that much, you know, light. Uh, I'm not getting that much light. Mm. So I'm just producing like thin leaves because I don't need that much chlorophyll. Okay. Like that. So that's. I, I don't know that's what they're telling me so that's why it's like more unthinned leaves oh up into the i think original the, ones the yeah over here it has thicker mm. that's, a, that's right yeah it's pretty obvious even in the video <laughs> it's a half moon one mm. it's similar to what is it the uh the big leaf soya like calisophylla or something like that if you give it in a higher light the venation will be permanent it will like pop out and then it will produce like small leaf and thicker leaves okay but if you you know give it like in a low light condition uh the the vein it doesn't show that much vein and then the leaves will grow bigger oh uh, okay this is tranuensis mm. This, yeah, this is, I don't, there's no specific light in here. There's no like any light. It's just, oh, okay, let's, let's say one, uh, two, f- 10 feet away from mm. my, my window. Mm. And it doesn't have any specific grow light in here. Mm. So you can tell the leaves, it doesn't have those fade, but mm. it grows super, super huge leaves. Oh, I see. Comparing to the old leaf, oh, see, it's totally like look different. Right? It looks like two it's different like, plants. Yeah, this is the older leaves. Older leaves has those venation, and then it's smaller and thicker. Mm. Yeah. So it there must be like you know sorry behind right that that's why plants are so smart. They they're doing their thing if you know in in different condition. So this is what I've learned from my, my friend, from, mm. you know, a lecturer here. More light, bright light, they give smaller leaf, thick leaves, and then more venation. Mm. If you like lower light, they will like give you like bigger leaves and then the venation, it will be not, not that, you know, from it. Like it doesn't look yeah. that. It, it yeah, looks it, so different. Similar. Yes. Wow, I didn't know about this particular species looks really really different okay let's go back to this one ah do you have this one yet uh lacunosa laos oh how do you find that yeah so i have two uh where is it there you go okay this is lacunosa lao and i have one bigger one in my uh another cabinet and then it's really sun stress beautiful it turns like to maroon bronze oh yeah that one especially the one in my uh, other cabinet that one is i love i love that one wow and, okay mm. so let's go over for 
this one. What is this? Lakonosa Punsak. Oh, I heard a lot about Punsak. How how is it different? Is it even more narrow and elongated? Yeah, that's right. You can. This is see. Ah,、uh, compare to this one. It's more elongated and then more narrow. See. Oh, this is super pretty. <laughs> wow. And it, the coloration is darker as well. It's maybe you know because my light as well. It's not that you know. Okay, the grow light itself, and then from you know it just get couple hours、uh, sunlight. You know from my south、mm. facing window. That's why it gets this dark in color. Okay, let me show you this one. This are the three variegation. Oh yes. Like this one, you call it、uh, Lacanosa Soma tricolor. Okay. So you can see from my、uh, Instagram, I got like、uh, comparison, like you know, showing how they look different.、Mm. And, and this one, the back leaves has more like. Oh. But this, yeah. So you can tell the back, and this is like I think it's like larger leaves、mm. than、uh, the. Variegated lacunosa and also the golden flame.、Okay. Golden flame has the thickest leaf among among these three. Yes, and then the variegated one is like small leaf and more elongated. This one is the prettiest, if you ask me. It's so、yeah. nice shape, and the coloration is so dynamic because not just one layer of color, but it has so many different layer in this tiny small leaf. So. In in my opinion, of course, three of them has their own beauty in it. All right, so so the back leaf is like this. See? Okay. Or it's the same, like you know, both sides are pretty. Not like this one. Okay, this one is like outside will be like you know the front leaf will be like、mm. this, but the back will have those like this color. This one almost reminds me of Valeriana,、uh, yes, variegated. That's right. Yeah, it reminds me about Valeria and、uh, variegated as well.、Mm. But this, both, see? Yes. Both are pretty. Yes. And then I love the tiny leaves. This one, even I gave them the same fertilizer because others, okay, from the condition, the light, everything that I give them,、mm. it tends to bigger leaves, other type of lacunosa. But this one, it remains. Oh. It is like. Yeah, it remains to this like cute little leaf. It's really good genes in that leaf, in that plant. Yes, that's right. And this is the golden flame. This one is more green, isn't it? Also, apart from thickness. More green, or yes, I think it's more green. It doesn't have that like、uh, cream、mm. in color. It's just like. I don't know. It's just my plant or what, but yeah, it has like only like two two tones of green, like the darker one and also the like、yeah. the lime green. Yeah, but honestly, all of your plants look super happy.、Um, so <laughs> it, it's it looks really beautiful because, as I said, even though you have a lot of plants, the way that you structure it looks very tidy. And then you also try to coordinate it so then the tendrils don't fly around, but you kind of tie it up in a trellis. So I think it's it's super pretty. So, now I'm in love at doing most like a lot of trellis, but you know I have to go find all this like wooden like stick outside from the trees, like、yeah. you know, cut it up and then. then. But you have, I think, if you put in like in a high humidity.、Mm. Mold. So、mm. the whole crate. So this one, I really like put it like、uh, really dry it up. So、mm. this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This is Lacanosa.、Uh, what is it again? The du- Peregrinian durian peregrinian. Yeah, the smallest、uh, leaf. The smallest one. one. I just draw this for in this cute little stick. Well, thank you very much,、uh, Ivy, showing us a part, a very small part、uh, of your Hoya collection. I am sure that、um, we are going to spend some time doing this kind of、um, video. We need to edit it, but I really look forward to have the part two、uh, going forward.、Um, I hope you enjoy this、uh, video kind of collaboration.
Yes, I really have so much fun, you know, showing, and then I, it's my pleasure for you know for you having me in your in your channel. Thank well, of you. course. I mean, I'm really happy that I can show more about <laughs> your collection to other people, and particularly the way we also discussed through the video how you take care of the plant, how different lighting you provide, and how different a plant could grow even within the same plant but different condition that we're providing so i think the way that we go through these things i could go back all the time and have a look and then we can also show other people that didn't got the opportunity to either purchase your plant from the us or just to know more about how many hoyas could actually fit in one room <laughs> yeah always space you know when it for your hoya that's right <laughs> Yeah. Like, in space, there will be. That's right. For sure. Mm. Well, I'll talk to you in the next one, and uh, I'll see you in later. Yeah, okay, bye, Bonnie. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. I hope you enjoyed part two of Hoya Tour of Ivy's Hoya Jungle. I really enjoy the time filming with Ivy and also seeing all of the Hoyas that she has. And it's not all of them. It's probably going to be another part of Hoya Tour of Ivy's collection. If you have any questions with regard to the care tips of any of the Hoyas that is shown in this video, don't forget to leave your comment down below. So probably Ivy will come into this video and respond to you what is her care tip. And once again, thank you very much for Ivy's contribution to this video. Um, if you could recognize how we do this video because of limited equipment that we have. We actually do that over our phone and Ivy has to go back and retake all of the clips again. So I really, really appreciate the effort that Ivy put in and also the really amazing footage that she shared with all of us. Hopefully you will have time to do another part of the tour of your huge greenhouse that we have not seen yet. If you like this video and you like the concept of looking around virtually of different Hoyas collection, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. If you don't want to miss out next time when I have similar content posted, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out next time. Until next time, I wish everyone is having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.